lot of games, a lot of communities. Uh, oh, yeah. Soul Calibur has definitely like opened my eyes to like you know like the world, like arguably the world. It's, it's a big world. And now the world has brought us to online Evo. Anyway, here we go. Online <laughs> evolution. We got uh, Barack Obama versus Cervantes. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Uh, they're already all. They're already rushing each other. Oh my God! Uh, enough GIs to stop the world. Alright, slowly pressuring. Nice call with A plus B. I can't wait this custom is too godlike. I <laughs> know, it's, it's gonna it make me laugh a little bit. <laughs> well, a big lively by Xander. Uh, it's like very much just trying to find something. Either maybe going for guard pressure or just, yeah, like a big damage option. It's a nice side throw. Yeah, the, the stealing your turn via sidesteps uh, had been working out for Gar Oh! Heartbreak. Heartbreak. Yeah, look at all that work! I like it. Oh, yeah, I, I could tell how he was a little oh, weirded no. out. No. I feel bad because, like, Fairmont just had a great break, but it was just at such a bad angle that he wasn't sure if, like, he could get, like, even a guaranteed 3B combo. Yeah, the weird corner angle, yeah, it mm. must be frustrating because that, that, that was his round. Oh, yeah, definitely. He worked real hard, but, like, Xander already working even harder! Look at that, all that pressure! That yeah, unbreakable grab. Already run out. Real good. Man grab, no break. Absolutely, it's like it's his curse. That's one thing I know about from much of his gameplay. He loves having his curses. He has so many ideas, like just like specific combos that he can use his curse for. And he will also just fight. Uh, oh, wow. Jesus. Uh, People still think they can hit him out of the, uh, hit Cervantes out of that Dreadstorm, like my foot is on the wall thing. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> Super! I, I always thought I could do it. I've, I've eaten so much. Crap I've tried many it. a times, even in tournament. It's like you, you cannot hit him when he has to put on that wall. It's so dumb. <laughs> it always looks like you can, like you said. It never works out ever. Slowly, patiently. Yeah, was like that was good. He was timing out the rest of the soul charge. All right. Movie counter. I I, I like Fairmentus is like like solid, uh, like staggered offense. Oh yeah, like he's dealing his turns, but like he he's kind of like keeping the frames tight. So it's like Xander oh, yeah, yeah. can't like find an angle. Yeah. yeah, he couldn't find an angle. It's just kind of like just, like target. It's kind of interesting offense there. One uh, very much is still putting up the pressure and just like covering his gaps with GIs. But Xander's fighting back with his own GIs. But another sidestep from Very Munchers. Oh my god, he's getting so much. Oh, money. I, think, uh, I I keep forgetting about that situation. I believe all the Zaz players tell me basically after that uh, four or six B on counter hand, if he goes into the. Uh, he pops the soul, and he looks like that to do like two A plus B for the, uh, the guard break. I believe they told me basically if you're close to the edge, you can't tech out of it. But I think if you're not, I believe you can tech back. I know I have like three individual Zaz people in the chat who can <laughs> potentially <laughs> tell me this. So I, I make sure I know. I was like, at least I know this. Because I've seen that combo. It does so much damage. It's but I know so you can get out of it. And very much says that like it's guaranteed on some characters, and other characters okay. can get out of it. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I've seen it a lot, and I've always wondered because it, like it, it's such a good combo. It does so much damage. At the same time, it always feels like I feel like you could get out of it. I I, I don't even know if Taki can get out of you it. You can roll two A plus B for some characters. Let's see, Bonic is what's telling me. I know I got Nitty and I got Subpar in the chat as well. If they if they if that is a uh, consensus. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the same map, slowly working. Good block. Wow, nice whip punish with the twister. <laughs> Ooh, just enough for the lethal in! Uh, oh yeah, that's the one thing I've noticed also about that uh, that 6BB combo with uh, Fair Munchers, that he'll opt for a, for, a, uh, for a curse instead of basically going for max damage. Good block punish there from uh, Fair Munchers. Uh, yeah, right, he like, he, he, does, he, he hardly like does any of like the traditional combo enders. He'll either get the curse like you said, or like try to set up for like you know um, like a reset pressure situation, uh -huh. uh, or go for a tech trap. So he's got like a lot of creative ways to like end his combos. Okay. Besides going for like you know the traditional you know higher damage uh, combo ender. Okay, no, okay. Yeah, that's a weird like minus sixteen to punish. Can we talk how weird his feet look without no boots? First of all, he looks like he has such bony feet. <laughs> I know uh, so he's like, uh, he's just like that he doesn't find any value in it. Yeah, it's like I know he looks like an undead zombie, but look at his legs! Gotta, you know, gotta do some leg curls sometimes. Oh, it looks so <laughs> goofy, but real nice. Real nice CE. You'll, you'll kill him here. Steve Harvey, closing the family feud. They're like baby legs.
he's got, he's got such nicely smooth baby legs. <laughs> I can't stop looking now. See, he doesn't look that bad now that all his clothes breaking off, but he's still looks so goofy. Clearly oh, values the upper body over anything else, including legs. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. He's getting a lot of, a lot of, like, oh. a lot of issues are calling him out with a 3 B plus K, getting a lot of gunshot. Oh, mid, mid, Ooh. mid again. <laughs> mid, 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 and, he, and he's gone. And he's gone. I, I, I like to believe that's just kind of like um, a consequence of all the conditioning he's been doing, because he's been going a lot of lows, so once, you know, you tell your opponent, hey, I'm going to go low, psych, all the mids will work now. So I think he kind of, like, earned his uh, mids. Oh, yeah, kind of try to duck. Alright. Slowly trying to find like a big ah as like a big moment there. And then there was Alexander, got his big one, big freebie punish. This will put him at a very like minuscule bit of life. Yep. Very scary yep. situation for Vermontress. Yep. No charge, no, like like the delayed getup. Alright, opting to burn the meter. Alright, that's fair enough. He can easily make a big combat with those meter. Good counter Great. hit. Doing a really great job so far. Ooh, got hot. Yep. That was real nice. He was, he was slowly progressing with, like I guess, like that staggered offense where he's just yep. slowly trying to catch his time and whatnot. Don't break on the back throw. Twister? Yep, he got his twisters. Oh man. Oh, he's already has he already has half life gone. It's a lot, it's a big a lot of work for Fair Butchers to get back up there, even the life lead. Now you have to deal with all this pressure, all the little, little bit of ticks of like a, of like A6B and where everything else like that. Okay, like it. that teleport. Oh, nice sidestep! I don't nice. even know how that. Okay, it, it was it was a delayed option. Yeah. Oh, ring out? No, oh, it was a weird angle. So I don't think he would have really. Oh my god, there it is! I call he it. Just and instinctively it just tried to, to just like get away from that like ring out situation, but that's exactly what Zasumel player wants you to do because he's got that three A B, and once oh, yeah. you get that run counter, you are going to get rung out. So like I felt like his like instincts just like, um, you know, just like overtook him at that like last possible crucial moment. Oh, yeah. he just, like instinctively wanted to get away, but like you know that opens you up for a run counter, which is exactly what Zasumel wants. That was that was beautiful. Oh, yeah. Why moving? <laughs> Oh, lucky break for Fair Muntress. Um, but like speaking to like the the staggered offense that Fair Muntress wants to do, like I noticed that um he'll like do a lot of attacks. Uh, oh. he'll he'll block, and when once he realizes like nothing's going on, he'll just go right back into his offense. And there's a there was some moments where Xander was like catching on to that, where like uh -huh. he didn't have to like stagger his counter poke. He can just go right into like an immediate counter poke to yeah. like you know challenge and beat Ferramentris. Uh, in the neutral game at least. Uh -huh. Oh oh, he missed the missed the combo. I guess maybe a little bit of delay. I'm not sure there. Oh, good punisher. Very much he's just tighten up the defense a little bit. Yeah, like side step, converts. Trying, yeah, he's trying to find the opening to get some damage in there, but it was kind of one of some matter of time. He has a. It's been a lot of uh, a lot of situations where uh, Xander's been gotten such a big life lead, and for much as he's had to make a big comeback, basically by yeah. simply trying to find his way, make. Because like I'd say, if anything, like Zaz has nice post advantage. Like if he doesn't get like the damage off him, he's just kind of sitting there just throwing shit, shit out, like just hoping for anything. Well, this is one of the combos I think I was talking about where you gotta, you gotta air control <gasps> correctly because that took so much life. Yeah, it's awesome, it's so much damage. Yeah, like, Fairmont much just has like long range moves, but like it's it's hard to like define Zasmel as like a, like a zoner. Like, yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a weird thing because like they're part of strings and just like that, which are really good counter hit fishers and just like that. But at the same time, it's just like. Their weirdness kind of pokes in a way, in like a way, unless like he like kind of charges them to have like kind of like plus frames, because otherwise he's just kind of blowing stuff out at like a really far range. Yeah, like, like you know, obviously he's got like that hook mechanic where he just like he wants like play yeah. one a lot, but he has exactly. very few moves where it's like they're actually like pushback, uh, which are generally effective uh, against Serventus, but you don't really have them on a character that only has like an I twelve. Then uh, you know, 
it makes it easier for Cervantes, who generally struggles to like, you know, get in and chase. Yeah. Uh, but like when you don't have like a lot of like anti chase moves, uh, could should be an easier time for a Cervantes player. But just like that, a yeah. guard burst for Ferramentris, yeah, huge damage into a ring out pressure situation. Ooh. But uh, I don't know how that jump combo drops, but try to recover with good a patience, CE. Yeah, good patience from Xander avoiding that CE. Oh, uh, that's ring out. Yeah, Angel. I love in that like scramble situation, uh, Ferramentris like used the CE kind of as a reset. Yeah. Um, if it caught something, great damage, but like if it's on block, then he gets frame advantage, and then suddenly it's his turn again mm -hmm. while he's back against the, the wall. So I, I love that he, he did that CE in that scramble situation. Oh, that's a whip punish into C. Yeah. Oh, no, missed! I guess like, the, like a little bit too late, but that's unfortunate. That's a big way yeah. to Yeah. Oh, the choke slam, Ermac. And one poke away, staggers a little bit, but goes high for some reason, but eats a 2A plus B, yep. killing a weak attack, whatever he was doing, maybe an AA, but oh! Ah! Oh, there is, yeah, like in that, that weird kind of moment at the very end, where like Swing whips and then like, oh wait, do I, do I punish or he's gonna mash again? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Once again, another last round situation. Or Muntress though, taking a big command, which I think is really good if he wants to uh, end up closing this for himself. No duck on the 6 A the 6 uh, B plus K. B, I think, yeah, B plus K, B. Ops of the 3B. Yeah, I think he does not want to be anywhere near that edge. That's, that's smart. Yep. He wants to keep the fight in the middle of the ring. Good duck. Yep. I'm not sure if you... He, he, oh! he got it? Yeah, he did. That was, that was just out of range. Look at all that damage. Alright, that's real nice. Uh, Fair Muntress is probably gonna try and build for, build, a, build a bar for himself, like now! He has it, because that's what he wants. What ain't? He's gonna soul charge? Oh, yeah. Okay, here you go. This is the opportunity to make it happen. Let's throw throw. Gets, oh! Mm -hmm. 